why Wally the Walrus is not welcome on the Isles of Scilly. He's become something of a celebrity over the past few months, travelling along the coast of Europe and Cornwall and Wales. But his popularity is starting to wane after he sunk and damaged a number of vessels, as Rupert Evelyn reports from the island. It's a spectacle they've become used to seeing in a place no one ever thought they'd see a walrus. Wally, as he's been named, has been here for a couple of weeks, but his presence is a cause for concern. Having damaged boats, they're looking at ways to help him move on. Answers are both tricky to find and surreal. So we're looking at above ground noises of predators to basically let this walrus know that this isn't a comfortable place for him to stay long term and one of which is could be a polar bear sound. The community of the Sillies are known for their love of wildlife so in general there's a lot of love for this walrus. He does have a history of moving on having appeared in Wales in March he left after a month and was spotted in France. Wherever he goes he causes a stir. I stood at the end of the quay watching, watching the walrus and while I was doing that so many people came and went just to just have a look because it is, it's an unusual thing. In the end I'm just wondering how lonely this creature is because he doesn't really have a companion out here so I'm just wondering how he's managing. Why he is two and a half thousand miles from his natural arctic habitat is unclear. While comfortable here on St Mary's many would like him to go home. Ensuring the welfare of the walrus while at the same time protecting the livelihoods of people who live here is a delicate balancing act. And it's not one that's easy to resolve. Unperturbed by human activity, persuading Wally to move may need more human answers. Although ideally he soon decides he's done with being a tourist attraction and heads for the open water. Rupert Evelyn, ITV News, the Isles of Scilly. Oh, Wally is rather cute, isn't he?